It's time for Eric Plays Multiplayer Civ 6. Hey guys, how's it going? A little dark. Turn on the lights a little later. Back over the past with its changing empire that rose made. and fell. That very loud. And you can foresee the future too. <laughs> Alright, early empires, so now I can ask people to go through borders, I can declare wars of retribution. And I can enforce my borders. Okay, so that makes sense why later I mean earlier. I could just pass through people's borders. They hadn't discovered <coughs> the concept of borders yet. All right. This guy's got one more build. Eh, might as well go ahead and prove the farm here. I think I was waiting for irrigation, but who knows how long it's going to take. Plus, it gives me half a housing. And gives me some Eurekas. Nice, towards irrigation. Excellent. All right. Yeah, that could be pretty useful. All right, cool. We can appoint our first governor. Um, so the castellan, the diplomat, the cardinal, the steward, the severe, the educator, the financier. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this uh, harbor master one would be pretty useful. Let's do Reina. For Achen. And Achen's working on a settler. I found something. What did I find? We met Rome. There they are. <coughs> oh, it's Dave. All right, Dave. No, I mean Dan. You better stay the F away from my sieve, okay? Oh! Darn, I was gonna do something. I was gonna... Annotate the things I want to build in my cities, but that's okay for now. Alright, so that one's done. Let's get a damn rags. So, I found out that Dan got David um, the next expansion pack for Christmas. So, come February 14, we're going to be playing three different um, rule sets for these multiplayer games. It's going to be interesting to see if we mess up and try to do the wrong thing in the wrong place. Generally, they tend not to change all that much. I mean, obviously, the Golden Ages and Dark Ages makes a big difference, but uh, I don't think it's going to be, like, that crazy. But you never know. All right, so someone's borders are over here. Let's figure out who it is. It's Zanzibar, and that gives me... Uh, did I just bring gifts to join our sieve? Did I like run over something without paying attention over here? Hmm. Well, whatever. I'll take it. The more I can not be in a chance for a uh, crap age, the better. And they want me to train a spearman. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? Let me write a note here. Alright, next turn I should be able to uh, build that city. Okay, save the game. Huh, there was one game that someone didn't play their turn in. Interesting. I wonder if it was an accident or something happened with the save. <coughs> you have built great cities of stone and seen early empires rise and fall. Soon you will stand under the towering pinnacles of castles alongside your gallant knights. 
That is where the story of your people will be written. So I finished my Germany game. As uh, also my first uh, Rise and Fall game. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright. This guy's got three charges. Let's definitely improve some production here. Alright, Delhi. I had military units. That was the next thing I wanted to do. Uh, so I will do... Let's do a catapult. Alright, center the envoy to press off. Alright, he's going this a ways to over there. Alright, I guess that's fine. Dave's built the pyramids. Or Dana, I guess. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention there. Save that game. Right, one more. This should be my Gilgamesh game. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets. A collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. In your people lies your greatest strength, Emperor Qin Shi Huang. From all over the world, others will come to gaze upon the great walls. All right. Tricky, tricky. Oh, he's got another warrior over here. Oh, I bet he's headed towards my area. Let's go over here. Save that game. Submit file. Alright, and that's it. So this has been Airplane Civ 6 Multiplayer. I'll see you next time. Bye.